Ryan, good evening. Officials with Duquesne Light tell us a transformer malfunctioned around midnight. Let's get to the good news first. We're just across the street from St. Clair Hospital right now. We're told from officials there that they never lost power. However, if you follow me over here, the vast majority of people who did lose power live in this neighborhood just across the street, and a couple of them said it was a very chilly morning. It was just a weird experience. Dolly Rowe woke up confused. She woke up at 1 a.m. a little chilly, but fell back asleep. But then when I woke up about six hours later, my house was really cold. Rose house was one of four or 500 Duquesne light customers without power for much of the morning in the Cedarhurst neighborhood. As crews worked to repair the bad transformer nearby, Rowe looked for answers. Everything is out. I can't um, turn on my computer. My cell phone is dead. So I decided to um, put my coat on and just come out to St. Clair Hospital and see if I could talk to somebody to find out what's happening. She also couldn't drive anywhere because her car was parked in her garage, the door for which needed power to open. Fortunately, she found Pittsburgh's Action News 4 photojournalist Andy Benish, who was able to update her. Prior to talking to you, I didn't even know what time it was. Because of the cold, Mount Lebanon opened up its municipal center for any residents who wanted to warm up. Municipal Manager Keith McGill. We thought we needed to take some action because Duquesne Light indicated it would be a period of time before they were able to rectify the situation. The shelter didn't see too many people as power was restored to the neighborhood around 11 a.m. Dolly Rose says she's thankful it was a short outage, albeit a chilly one. Dolly Rowe told us that when she woke up this morning, the, the temperature inside her home was 45 degrees. She said she's thankful she doesn't have any kids or any pets, or she said she's not sure what she would have done. For now, we're live in Mount Lebanon. David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. That is rough. Thanks, David. A firefight in the